a mess and a half right there. We don't know the floor and how rotten it is, so we really need to get these off to safely be able to lift it. Um, which means we're going to have to hold this one. I'm having a, it's the whole bolt's turning, so you have to hold it and use the um, use the wrist to to get it turning. Good, except right around that toilet there. The problem is, is that the subfloor is gone, and this look it looks like it may be tongue and groove, which we brought some of that. So what we're going to do is probably cut this out and find the good wood. But yeah, that goes down to the basement of a hundred and something year old building. It's kind of scary. I can see the dirt. Down there. Oh. 
It's coming up. Mm -hmm. Trying. He put in flatheads? I don't know who did this. I mean, it... You're assuming your dad did this. I got some, some nails that have a, a different type of head on them and they don't look that old in here. So, it makes me think that... Your daddy did it. And my dad may have done it. So we'll have to come up with a screw comfortable to this one. I don't want to put this one back. Um, I hope I got something to do it. That's looking good though, don't you think? Much better. I'm thinking about leaving that in there. Yeah. Cause, yeah. I don't know, it just depends. It, see that, the counter is sitting on top of that. On each one we're having to make a decision how we're gonna get a good piece of wood. Um, I'm gonna probably end up leaving those two rotten ones in there, but we're gonna come as close as we can with a good piece of wood. And then we got that one little ledge to bring us all the way back there. And then uh -huh. we've got that to bring it back there. So I think it's, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. But as soon as we get it put back, we'll be able to put down a piece of plywood. Uh -huh.